those kind of games were like popular back in the day. There are a bunch of games like made by Russian developers that are left unknown. Hey guys and welcome to a new video on Nomadic Dmitry channel. Well, after trying so many times to get the actually usable copy of Windows 98 on my modern hardware, basically I was able to, to get it working in some state but without all the drivers, without all the support, it, it didn't work well. It, I was only able to boot in a safe mode because I didn't have PS2 mouse and keyboard, so I mean, yeah, and also I didn't have any graphical driver, so I decided to basically using Windows 98 on a modern hardware it's not even worth the effort like it's not even worth the effort to actually try to install so i decided to use actual machine that i actually already used to install a windows xp on the hard drive i succeeded it it works fine i use it on this machine but it's ibm t42 and i'm running copy of windows 98 here it's actually windows 98 with updates basically i've updated the, the core system to have more modern uh, files here i were like basically there's an unofficial service pack you can inst install on the Windows 98. I got all the video drivers, I got all the stuff, but I mean, it was not easy. It was not really easy to actually achieve that because even installing on this hardware, but if you try to install it on the USB stick like I had here, if you install on the USB stick, you might run into some problems because Windows 98 doesn't know what the, the bootable USB stick is. It doesn't know even how to manage this USB stick like properly because, well, it needs to work properly with those kind of devices. But fortunately I was able to install it with so many tricks and I mean it was kind of like strange experience. Um, I mean I would not recommend to try it unless you actually want to use uh, Windows 98 for a specific purpose. For me the specific purpose was games so I copied a need for speed so if I try to run it it basically does this. Alright the first symptom it seems like okay, it's loading something. To my surprise this time I'm able to load it now. Wow. It actually loaded uh, need for speed so guys the previous time I tried it didn't work so I rebooted the system and it now works. <laughs> huh. Alright. I mean Okay, as you can see, it doesn't really work. It's Windows 98 on USB stick. What do I expect? Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. It actually loads. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, it works, guys. Need for Speed 2 actually works. Well, I was actually surprised right now. But here's the thing, because I wanted to install it properly, I actually removed everything from here. I removed the CD drive, I removed the hard drive, because I don't want it to corrupt my Windows XP and Linux installation. And basically installation took, I mean, I rebooted like 30 times to actually be able to get it running in some usable state. So let's try actually to plug this CD-ROM, DVD-ROM drive here. <laughs> well, it was a bad idea to install it. <laughs> I'm booting up Windows 98 again to see if it detects the drivers of the DVD-ROM, which I don't expect it to detect automatically, but who knows. To be honest, guys, this is nothing compared to Windows 95. Windows 95 was, I mean, so unstable. I remember back as uh, back when I was a kid, I reinstalled like Windows 95 so many times, and it was Windows 95 OS R2, which was actually like second edition of the Windows 95, right? Such a bad state, so many drivers like not working properly, and uh, it was really bad. And as you can see, it takes so long to load Windows 98 from the USB stick, but it's supposed to be super fast. But I mean, it's not optimized for USB sticks. It's not optimized for anything modern. Seems like it takes a while to load. Oh, here it is. The beautiful Windows 98 startup sound. Oh, it actually detected it right here. This is cool. Oh, well, I'm also wondering what about USB mouse? Will it actually detect like USB mouse or is it gonna just crash right here? Let's see. All right, so I have this generic Logitech USB mouse and let's plug it in the laptop and see. Wow, it works. It just magically works, guys. Well, I mean, Windows 98 performing better than I thought initially. So the lesson learned with Windows 98, be very passionate and patient. <laughs> One of my favorite applications from this era was DOS Navigator. I think it's it was more used than like ex-Soviet Union kind of in those countries. This is really, I think, great file manager. Like, in, although in, like, in this case it doesn't show a long file name, it show, shows the short file names. 
but I mean, it's it's really like it's like Midnight Commander, right? But it's, it's actually more powerful. It has like or CD CD player built in, basically like operating system. It's like not worse than Windows 3.11 because it has all the utilities you you need, like CD player here, for example. Oh my gosh, system information. Yeah, it like has system utilities format disk. You're able to format disk right from there, right from the DOS navigator, and there's also Tetris built in, and you like can play it like this. So basically, you don't even need anything, like you can just install DOS Navigator and have fun. Let's play some other games, how about this Commander Keen? I forgot which one, I think it's Commander Keen 4. See all these sounds? <laughs> I even forgot the controls. Oh yeah, this, this jumping tool like this. Yeah. Oh guys, this is like one of my favorite games from 90s. The goal of the game is like to build a network and I think this game was developed by some Russian developers if I'm not mistaken, but basically you need to connect all those computers and as you can see all of those are like showing the blue screen, which is kind of funny. There are a bunch of games like made by Russian developers that are left unknown and I'm planning to do separate video about this. This one, I have no idea what it is. Ah, this one is like... <laughs> Those kind of games were like popular back in the day when something like goes on and off on your screen. Those days it's considered like virus, but back in those days it was, it was not. Maybe you kill it from the task manager. Ah. <laughs> task manager, happy Fred, goodbye Fred. Set fun level, oh okay I can set the fun level basically. Okay this is a domino game. Oh, this is a domino game and I don't have a fonts for the Russian version of it. You remember guys, Windows 98 is not Unicode, so you need to install specific stuff to have it, to have support of different languages. Well, some games are not operatable in Windows plus MS-DOS mode, I need to actually reboot to get it working. Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe if you like this video and uh, there will be more videos about using this kind of devices in the modern era of computing.